welcome to my channel IT smart training if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos now today we are going to start uh, exchange server 2019 installation prerequisites so first we have to in install um, before we have to install exchange server we have to install some prerequisites so this video is uh, uh, for how to install prerequisites for exchange server and my next video will uh, the process of exchange server installation but the before exchange server installations we need an active directory domain controller so it already i have installed an active directory domain controller over here uh, if you need active directory domain controller installations guide you can uh, check the description box i configured it in my previous video in uh, in the windows server 2019 videos there is a video uh, for installation of active directory domain controller so this domain is a smartlab.com and active directory domain uh, already installed uh, in this so please uh, check the description box uh, for the link of domain controller installation in 2019 so uh, before uh, installing exchange server i told you to uh, install uh, some tools and features or uh, some prerequisites uh, so this is my uh, windows server 2019 uh, data center editions but this is a workgroup environment okay and my IP address is at first I show you the IP address of uh, domain controller that will help you uh, to more to get more understand so my IP address is 10.10.10.220 and uh, uh, 7 marks is 255 255 255 default gateway uh, is 10.10.10.2 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. it is optional uh, and my the DNS server is 10.10.10.220 because this is my DNS server DC and DNS are installed on the same machine so that's why the IP address will be the same done and one more thing so the IP address of the exchange server is 10 10 10 default gateway 10 10 10 2 and the uh, DNS server is the domain controller IP address so now I have to member this system into the domain controller I just change the name ex1 domain is smartlab.com provide the username and password Yes. done so it's my remote computer that's why it's uh, uh, disconnected so just I want to show you something if I go to there so the my domain controller is uh, uh, 4GB of RAM and this is a KVM processor means I have a virtualization server and there I host uh, the these two virtual machine the kernel is KVM kernel and the code is 2 so just let's check it's uh, registered in domain or not go to dsa.msc 
I just check computers EX1 is registered you can see the operating system information that means it's registered so go to MSTSC 10.10.10.221 and connect is connecting is maybe not started yet so not connected I can see here the virtual machines information so this is my virtual machine I just go to the console yeah it's on so let's try once again yeah it's connected so the domain is smartlab slash administrator for password is domain users are connected this is the first step so if we use a delegated administrator means if I create a user in the domain controller something exchange admin or something like that so make sure that the particular user must be the member of enterprise admin or schema admin group because I am using uh, uh, administrator user accounts you can see here that administrator accounts is uh, also a member of uh, enterprise admin as well as a schema admin group so if I create an external user over here so make sure that user must be the member of uh, uh, schema admin and uh, an enterprise admin group so my domain is uh, my the exchange system is ready so I just changed the wallpaper to uh, get more meaningful for you so the exchange 2019 this system so now I just started to install the prerequisites uh, so I have a prerequisite steps so at first we need the exchange server 2019 uh, setup guide okay uh, next the operating system must be the Windows Server 2019 okay or the Windows Server 2016 also for its functional level and the domain functional level uh, Windows Server 2019 operating system uh, Windows Server 2019 you can use and the we require a dotnet framework version 4.7.2 so I just check the uh, schema where you check the uh, functional level go to domain.msc we go to properties sorry here you can raise the functional level the highest functional level is uh, here so this is the 2019 the highest functional level is uh, 2016 is uh, giving me so next uh, uh, domain controller support so we can install action server 2019 in windows server 2002 r2 windows server 2016 core and desktop experience both editions in windows server 2019 core and desktop experience operating system support windows server 2016 or windows server 2019 next i have to install a dotnet framework so go to the exchange server at first i go to the control panel uninstall program turn windows features on off add roles and features next role based installations next next go to the features here just select the ASP.NET all features over here next 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 restart if required just select next to install
till then I just pause my video you can see that the dotnet framework uh, is 4.7 is installed over here so you can see that uh, if we have a windows server 2016 we have to install dotnet framework 4.7.1 and if we have it in December 2019 so we required uh, 4.7.2 so I just uh, mount uh, the prerequisites uh, prerequisites so that we can see here the prerequisite software dotnet .4.7.2 so just I install trying to install 4.7.2 dotnet framework So here you can see that the .NET Framework 4.72 or later update installed in our computer. So no need to install this uh, .NET Framework. But if we have Windows Server 2016, so it's a requirement to install. Now I the next step. <coughs> the next steps is uh, Visual C++. It's requirements. So I just go here, Visual C++, installing, I installing both of the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Visual C++. Next process is to Unified Communications, UMCA, UCMA. Uh, 4.0 is required for the action server 23 to 2019 <coughs> so just go to the here unified communication open next I accept install successfully install ok now the next step is to prepare an active directory till this till now uh, we have completed this step we have installed .NET framework 4.7.2 or updated versions visual c++ unified communication these all are installed now uh, after reboot uh, I have to open PowerShell and run the remote admi server administration tool so I uh, I configure this command in exchange server where we have to install exchange server uh, the command should be run on that particular machine go to PowerShell right click just search over here our shell right click on it run as administrator first command is uh, you have to install a remote server administration tool I just paste it over here and installing after install remote server administration tool Uh, 
I have to install the server prerequisites. I just open a notepad, paste it over here. Just check is a single line or not. Yeah. Control A, Control C. When this is finished, I just paste it this features list uh, in this features list some of the features is already installed and some are not so which are not already installed uh, it will this command will install this automatically so it's almost done 62 percent is installed one more thing uh, I have to show you my exchange server uh, system is uh, 10 GB of RAM over here so uh, it's almost done So it's done. Next step, sorry. So next step is uh, prepare Active Directory domain. So to prepare Active Directory domains, uh, we have to uh, prepare Active Directory schema so that uh, we have some schema versions in previous windows uh, windows server 2012 the schema version is 69 in 2016 the schema version is 87 in windows server 2019 the schema version is 88 so while you install the exchange server uh, the schema should be updated so uh, that's why i uh, told you previous uh, some sometime before that uh, while we install an um, uh, exchange server uh, or uh, windows server 2019 uh, we have required an active directory for that and uh, the user uh, which we are installing exchange or exchange admin uh, that is must be the member of a schema admin group that's why because uh, while we install exchange server the schema uh, database will manipulate by exchange uh, setup so here is showing the schema uh, version is 88 so how to check that the schema version is uh, correct or not go to run ad si edit dot msc uh, just connect to select schema and ok here is a schema I just click on these hives just drop down here the object version is 88 to my now the schema object version is 88 you prepare your schema uh, from the uh, exchange server system also on the active reality machines wherever you want so I just uh, mount in my exchange server the exchange server setup this is the CU2 latest version of exchange server till from date 9th a uh, 4th September 2019 so I mount it so I just check that uh, which drive is taken it's taken uh, e drive okay go to cmd run as administrator okay e drive then type this command setup.exe prepare schema i accept exchange server license terms just paste it and enter my server 2019 CU2 updating setup it's prepared an active directory to install exchange server 
after giving this message we have to create an organization this is an optional if we set an organization over here so uh, next while we install exchange server we do not have to put uh, that organization name otherwise uh, we have to put organization name So I just copied it. Not bad. Organization name is IT Smart Smart Training, and then we set up it. It uses analysis 96%, 100% organization preparation is now in big process. Organization preparation almost done. The organization preparation is completed. So now I can run this command all domains. I can show you in my latter videos uh, that uh, the these two commands are not necessary to run in this stage because uh, we uh, in the installation window I just set up it uh, from that window exchange window. It's successful. So this is the how this is how we can uh, set up prerequisites for Exchange 2019. Thank you for watching. See you on next videos.